got a 2.8 liter, 2783, 2783 cc autocraft, autocraft head, it's like full blown autocraft motor. Um, pop that. There's a little bit of additive. What's that you got over there? Your cooler? A CBR oil cooler and a 091 bus trans with a Pelican torque bias diff. 930 CVs. Rifle drilled axles. Big CVs, huh? A muffler runs all the way over there. All Teflon oil lines, fuel lines. Muffler runs out the side. So even though it's that loud, it still has all that band and a real muffler to it, right? Three inch muffler. Three inch muffler. Six feet of tailpipe. Yeah, strange brakes. And well wheels. Ron Loomis brake setup front and rear. From RLR. What about the cooling tin? Where do you get that from? It's an autocraft cooling tin. We added the side skirts. Okay. Porsche 911 shroud. How about that traction bar? You custom make that too? Tom Shoe built a custom traction bar to work off of an uh, autocraft case. What do you have on? Uh, what are those for? The dash threes? Oil squirters for the for valve the, train. For the valve train? Yeah. So the springs don't get too hot. Then it's got a evac on the bottom of the head. Really well. Okay, so that's why it has that other dick on the on the pump. Yes, the pump and a half. Okay. The second half is being used to pull the oil out of the valve tubes. So that's got a to a vacuum system. Got a sound system. It's a rag. And then up in the dash, what do you got over here? Jack with the recoil on it, oil pressure, oil temp, stock fuel gauge, stock. Mile an hour. It's got started out with zero miles, so 3,900 miles it. on it. You got square weave carpet? Yes, yeah, square weave carpet, all leather interior. And this car is a driver. I've seen this car driven everywhere. Suede, headliner. Oh, seats. yeah, I didn't notice that. That's actually a great picture from here. Cool. And you have a center console built? Yes. Center console built. What do you have in there? Uh, Some AFR cup holders? Gauge. It's got a, a retard switch, a fan switch, and then heated seat switches on the sides. And you have the shit to get in your house? Yes. You have heated seats? Heated seats. You have heated seats on a bug? There's no other heater, so. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I have never seen a bug with heated seats. Future comforts for the wife. Yeah, and a cup holder so she doesn't spill all this shit out and you get a fight with her because she wants to spill shit all over all over the seats. And then you get in and have a sticky floor mat because of the coke. And that's your sound system? Yeah, everything you around through Bluetooth. The wiper knob is the volume control on it. You have a matching spare? No joke. Wow, what what is that right there? It's a um, for the amplifier, so it doesn't drain the battery down when the bass hits. Capacitor. Oh, okay. All the wiring's all soldered. Yeah, it looks bitching. You got the fishnets. You got fishnets on it. Pretty cool. <laughs> Blacked out headlight. Yeah, this thing's a freaking monster, man. You wanna fire it up?
had all these Teflon hoses? Yeah, Teflon. Okay, so I want to talk about that because a lot of a lot of people in the VW world are still building cars with the rubber stainless steel braided or the cloth covered stainless steel braided rubber hose, right? right? And uh, that shit's old. Like that's 20, 30 year old shit. You know, yeah. they used to do that yeah. in the 70s, 80s. The Teflon lasts longer and the 85 doesn't affect it. And, and it flows. And it flows better. It flows better. better. It's thinner, IV. thinner, lighter, flows more. And it costs about the same. I don't it cost maybe a little bit more. But the fittings much. cost a little bit more, but the hose itself costs the same. And you can run alcohol, nitromethane, everything like any fuel you want right. without any issues so like why are we still doing that that other shit like, i don't get it this this shit's way better and it can take heat and it, the only thing that it doesn't do as good is it's not as flexible yes i have one rubber hose in this whole car and it's from the fuel pump into the tunnel to the dash eight stainless line but and that's the reason why they make all these fittings so you can, there's a way to do the whole car you can do everything yeah. it's just the right fitting for the right job for, for the for what you need for a specific spot you yeah. know uh it's very hard for you not to be able to use it all tough on. i have one rubber hose in my car too and that's because it is a dash i believe it's a 12 or a 16 one of them and they don't make it that big um, or the place that I went to didn't have it that big, yeah, I should then. say. G&J might have it, but... So that's the reason why I ended up with this. So for ignition, you got MSD with a... That looks like a Mallory. Old Mallory. Old Mallory with Even MSD. With a crank trigger and a power grid. Crank trigger on the side right here. Yeah, old school technology and then all new school. Ignition controller module. You have the grid. Power and grid then with the digital 7 that goes with the it. 7. And then power, the data acquisition for the EGTs and the CHT. And that's the uh, Innovate. Innovate, which is Innovate owned by da Autometer now. Innovate Data Logger. Okay. Alright then. Yeah, it's one of the meanest cars out there on the streets in South Cal for the past few years now. Pretty cool car. Pretty cool car. It's different. It's got a bunch of different stuff. It's got sound, big motor, but. Pretty cool.